Starfleet Command, yes, sir. I don't think you could possibly imagine that uh, a television show could have this much impact on, on so many people for so long, but it's wonderful. What is it, Lieutenant? Malfunction, sir. I have had letters and come in contact with young women who have said to me, you came on. And I thought, my God, there's somebody there representing me. In 1966, a black woman starring in a primetime role with a diverse cast was truly groundbreaking and proving just how much representation matters. We spoke with Sonequa Martin-Green, who more than 50 years later calls the shots as the captain on Star Trek Discovery. It must be astronomical, the amount of energy required to maintain that. The very first time I met her, she came to the premiere of, of Star Trek Discovery, and she whispered to me, uh, take care, it's yours now. Uh... <laughs> It really propelled me forward. Mm -hmm. It's like I, it's what I needed to hear mm -hmm. from her specifically, because I'm here because of her. The skies are green and glowing. But Nichelle almost walked away from Star Trek following season one after being offered a role on Broadway. A very famous fan changed her mind. I turned around straight into the face of Dr. Martin Luther King and nearly fainted. Um, he admired the show and told me how much he admired my work and how important it was on television. And I said, well, thank you very much, but I'm leaving the show. And Dr. King said, you cannot. You have changed the face of television forever. He said, it's more important that people who are not black see this show, see you in this role, because they see us for the first time as we should be seen as equals. Captain, receiving messages from a ground station. How do you think she paved the way for so many of us? Well, uh, what gets me about her is, is the service mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the complete setting down of self. And when Dr. King said, no, 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 we have to see you. Yeah. We've never seen this before. We need you. She said, okay. She put down herself yeah. and dedicated the rest of her career to our progression. Now there's a 20th century enterprise. This would require the services of people with a variety of skills and qualifications. Nichelle's impact went far beyond Hollywood. I was under contract to NASA to recruit the women and, and minority astronauts for the space shuttle program. And I developed other um, aerospace educational programs and projects for um, various agencies. This is your NASA. When she went to NASA and said, there needs to be more color here, what are you guys doing? They said, oh yeah, absolutely, but can you bring them in though? <laughs> I, what did it really take right. for her to do that, right. you know? And, and she did it selflessly. Today, Miss Nichols is 89 years old. In 2015, I was honored to visit her at her LA home. How does that make you feel when you hear them say to you, I looked to you and what you did on television mm -hmm. and it inspired? When we went on TV, I was very proud. It was uh, the first interracial show that was important. She had recently suffered a stroke, but her spirit was strong and feisty. I have this thing about so-called sickness, and I can't say it about everything, every sickness, but I, I've always felt from a little girl if you deny it, it'll go away, and it does. <laughs> You're a fighter. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I'm a fighter. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm this kind of fighter. <laughs> what do you think ultimately her legacy is? Well, I think she's a hero. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We throw that word around a lot. Yeah. But she really is one in real life. And that's her legacy, mm -hmm. it's her heroism, you know, and the impact from it, um, because she changed the world.